Good morning, everyone. Kevin the Toy Smuggler here. Yes, I'm here extremely early this morning, but yet yeah, I had a great surprise last night. Totally out of the blue. I actually was getting ready to do a, a live stream last night on a totally different topic and uh, got a little busy. And then I had some company come over. And so a uh, company was there and uh, it was my daughter and her uh, and my son-in-law, Randy. He They came over and Randy usually comes in and sees what I'm working on or whatever. Actually, I had just got done uh, doing some cleaning on some Mego figures and doing a whole bunch of restorations for uh, Covert Comics down there in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Definitely, need, you guys need to go on Facebook and check out Co Covert Comics. Uh, Jason Hensley, just a great guy. Got a great store and everything. Check him out. He's got a lot of great stuff. So I'm sitting there, you know, got done with that. And I come in here and I was working on some card backs for him. And I'm sitting there, you know, tedious you know on the photoshop and all that you know just going nuts and he, he actually randy came in he goes man you know what's wrong i said oh i'm just driving myself crazy you know doing all this little digital junk and everything and he sits down and we're just shooting the boy he said oh yeah he said uh the, the walmart down the road has got the new he-man figures i was like Hurt. hit the brakes and i turned around and said, say what he said yeah yeah we just came from the walmart about an hour ago and they got the new he missed man stop what i was doing i didn't even hit save on the computer and i'm like grabbing flip-flops i had the shorts i had on didn't even have pockets to grab my wallet and keys say come on boom we run out the door total wife as i was running by what i was doing we both hop in the truck boom one mile down the road and so we're going in you have to do the stupid mass crap and everything luckily i had an extra mask for him because like i said we just rushed right out of the door and stuff like that so so anyway, where he, he's showing me where he found them, and they wasn't on the end cap. They done from like three o'clock today to, I think it was roughly seven seven thirty ish when we showed up to the Walmart. They had done moved it into the aisle where the, uh, you know, where I knew they were supposed to be having, them, but it's been empty. I've seen empty pegs with uh, Motu stickers on it for three straight weeks now. Hence the whole reason why I didn't go check it out after work today. So, so anyway, boom, we go there and bam, the pegs were full. I was shocked about how many uh, mat figures Mattel had out because when they, because I didn't really think they'd have a bunch out because of uh, the way the, the, the Mattel's been doing this WWE slash He Man stuff. I have yet to see, usually it's just, I've never seen more than six or seven figures on the peg at one time. So, very scarce. And I'll guarantee you, we probably, and this is after I heard from talking on the stock boys. Somebody's done showed up and took two arm loads out of there, you know, and I guarantee you there was 30 figures on the peg and, uh, and on the he man figures. Uh, I actually personally seen, I believe he's either seven or nine of them sitting on the peg last night. And I was just shocked. I got two of them. This is the one I'm going to talk about, but I got another one to the side. I'm going to unbox. I ended up picking up a total of four different characters to He-Man, and I got an actual uh, original He-Man here. We're going to do some size comparisons and stuff there at the end. But I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick run through. And like I said, we grabbed these, and he helped me carry them out. And like I said, I was extremely grateful and everything. Sorry, it's, it's, it's uh, like 4.38 right now, and I am like needing some coffee bad. And like I said, I know I'm doing a live stream. I know no one's going to be joining me this early. Like I said, I just want to get this recorded and tell the story and stuff like that. And you guys can watch it later when, when, when most normal people decide to wake up in the morning. So right off the bat, I have to say that extremely happy with the, the these figures. One thing I kind of like them, which, you know, when you instantly look at this, this is straight up He-Man from like when we were a kid as far as the aesthetics the size we got a lot better articulation here which i'm gonna go through that a little bit later but the, the the reason why i'm really digging these is it's like what we had as a kid but yet it's like a comic book version of it so it, it's a it's slightly new it's got a that gave it that's given it just a touch of freshness to it so i mean it's got a lot of nostalgic to it but yet at the same time you know, we got some really good quality comic book vibes going on here, but yet not straying too far to the left, which a lot of these companies are bad to do. And it still roughly feels 
just like the He-Man that we had as a kid. And the front of the packaging, pretty much 95% exactly what we had as a kid. The bubbles, not much difference. The basic aesthetic of the artwork, you know, you got the different bubbles and stuff made for, you know, for 20, uh, 2000s. So all in all, really good. And on the back of it here, we have the, uh, I'm going to call it a tent. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to rag on this stuff too much. You know, I, I, I'm coming from this from an artist point. I know a lot of y'all probably, oh, look at the new cool. Uh, sorry, guys. This artwork, if you truly sat down and compared it from, from an artist's point of view, this is good artwork. But it's, it still don't hold a candle to the original stuff that we had as a kid. And, the, and one of the biggest things is I, I'm not a fan. And you can probably see when I turn the thing, I don't know if the camera can capture the difference. But the, the, the hero characters or villains, I'm sure when we look at it, they put these guys a slick finish over the main characters and leaving the backgrounds flat which i understand why they're doing it and it's what it is it's just making the it kind of gives a slight illusion of 3d to it and stuff but i'm just not a fan of that it's it's i mean it's and now as far as the drawing goes i think whoever drew this done a really good job i just don't like all the uh cg coloring done to it now i think if you took this drawing and I may do that one Saturday is take like this drawing right here and do a pencil and do a painting on it and see what kind of differences we get here and stuff. So that was the only thing I did. And, and, and another odd choice, they didn't do the castle in the background in a green color, which I just find, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just a little different. Like I said, I'm not, like not going to ditch it too much, but I said... It don't bother me because I'm not buying this right here for this artwork. I'm buying it for the pretty cool figure. So, but I see the attempt that they're going for, and it does have a modern look. So probably all you young modern kids are probably digging it, and I'm happy for you. But but for us vintage guys, nah, not so much. So, but on the bottom here, we got pretty much the exact same type of packaging we had as a kid. They took pictures. Uh, the toys, but these are like a drawing of them and stuff. Just showing the different accessories and a good nod to the old on um, what, how you can, how they hold their weapons and how they spin and stuff. So, and then you got all this crazy type bull crap down here, like on every one of them. But, and like I said, we're going to find out on the little mini, there's a, there's a type of mini comic in here. We're going to be looking at that. But I just want to show you guys what it is and the, and the color scheme here. Like I said, we're going to open. Another version of this up here in just a few minutes, but I was going to do a rundown. I'll show you the ones that I got. That was Mr. He-Man. And then I didn't get a second one of these, and I may just have to go back and get another one. Because I tell you, the more and more I look at Mr. Bones here, I have to say, this was, I love the sculpt on this one. I really do. And I like to have an extra one of these, maybe just to open up. Because I mean, I'm really digging that. And like I said, you can see there, he's got a really good menacing face. It don't look, the, I think the original one had his mouth closed. And this one, he's got more of a ha 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 kind of look. And I really like that. And I have to say, this new articulation in the knees is really, and you'll see it more on the Beast Man. I was extremely pleased with how the Beast Man is looking. And I'll go, it seems like the, the Stratoses. Moss Man and the Beast Man, they looked a little stumpy because of the, they whoever sculpted their legs back then, they did not do a good job, but this new versions hit it spot on. And like I said, I can't, also, I'm looking forward to really see a Merman, because, you know, Merman takes over the Skeletor body, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the Merman as well, but Mr. Skeletor looks really great there, great colors on him. Uh, it's a touch brighter than the original ones, but you, it's kind of hard to judge that because finding a Skeletor that's true to color anymore after 40 years, <laughs> and they're all different shades of blue and everything. So we're going to flip it around here and stuff. I'm not going to talk a whole much lot. All the front packaging are all the same with this. Now, here's the artwork. I do have to say the, the drawing is striking. 
uh, the colors, like I said, it's digital coloring. And like I said, I think overall the, the aesthetic of this artwork is really cool. Uh, very dynamic pose. Like I said, I really can't complain about the posing and everything. But like I said, like I said the only thing he does still, I'm looking at it, it's got that extra sheen over the, the, char the main character. Like I said, I'm just not a huge fan of the digital coloring. It just, I don't know. Like I said, I love to get my hands on some of this artwork. And try hand oil painting it and see what I can come up with. By no means am I knocking the artist. It's the it's not the artist that I'm knocking here, people. It's the medium. Just so everyone's clear that I'm not trying to bash some other artists. Like I said, it's very well done. I just don't like the digital medium. I just uh especially when you're talking about He Man. He Man lends itself to uh traditional look so that's the only thing it's not the it's not the artist uh i think the artist done very well honestly sorry guys i'm i'm digging on this i usually have a full cup of coffee or more before i get on camera and, nah. all right there we go all right now we got mr duncan here man at arms and stuff so all right really digging how they look they got the mustache he's got the tom Selleck rolling here and that's something i'm glad to see that they took a a nod to the old filmation cartoon and went about it. i'll see if i can get a bit closer there really cool job uh and if you notice too i'm trying to get the camera around and it looks like i thought he had the red dots on his helmet but he's not just the reflection of the light there I almost made it look like he had the red see right there, it almost looks like he's got the red dots on the top of the thing which really don't matter. Uh, like I said, pretty much it's the same character that we had, but we know with the cool bendable knees and stuff like that, the the armor does look a little bit more, it looks more pliable, to be honest with you. Like I said, I have not got my hands on it. This, it looks like it's made out of slightly better plastic. It looks like it's more uh, opaque instead of being, is a, the, the, most of your orange plastics back in those days had a transparency to it. And this one looks a little bit more opaque. So this is probably more a touch of the, instead of more on the hard plastic side, it's more on the, the rubbery side. I don't know if y'all remember uh, Grizzlar. He's the one on the Hordak side, the, the big furry guy. And he had that yellow X pattern with the red uh, bat on the front of it. There's two versions of that very extremely. One was made almost like a zip tie kind of plastic which is a number two plastic. And then there was a more common version and that was more rubbery and stuff. And I think this one may be ten, this from looking at it. I can't tell until I got my, get my hands on one is looks to be more on the rubbery side, which is, you know, looks like it will make last a little bit longer. Unfortunately, the, the original man at arms armor on, especially on the chest one just seems to deteriorate really bad, even more so than your Skeletors and He-Mans that just don't handle the uh, test of time. So if you've ever find one, that's got the good buckles on the back, put it up and cause it, you, you got a rare one cause they, they tend to just to fall apart over time. All right. Now we're getting ready to go to the, the back here, uh, of the artwork. Once again, great pose and everything really good and dynamic it's a great shading on that. i have to say the, the whoever this artist is he does know his shadowing quite well i do give him credit on that he definitely his uh especially on the characters definitely have a lot of weight feel to them they look heavy and they look pretty solid with all the great shadowing he's got got definitely got that down put down pat i really have to say and everything and overall just really cool now is that a dragon far corner yeah some kind of wow it almost looks like a dragon with a uh almost like the same kind of helmet i don't know if the camera could pick that up there we go it almost has like a battle cat head to it in a, in a sense just a little bit but everything but but you can see here great artwork and everything like I said I, like I said I would love to see all these images uh done traditionally but pretty much none of these if I from what I've been told none of these has the uh spring action so and they and they I heard that they pop apart and I've seen on uh, 
couple other uh, reviews and stuff that the, all the things, limbs, they're interchangeable body parts. So they can work well with the original, uh, the, the way I'm going to call it like a, the wave last year when it's coming with the John Cena, uh, Mo2 crossover stuff and everything. So, well, like I said, I'm not buying these to be open them up. I got an extra He-Man and I might get an extra Skeletor, but I have to say, man, I'm, I'm looking at this Beast Man here and huh, I tell you, I'm really digging the sculpts on these because it's really bringing me back. It's an upgrade without doing any major changes, which I have to say, Mattel, two thumbs up. I'm extremely impressed with the designs of these. I'm definitely looking for, this is probably the most exciting line that's uh, coming out this year. And considering how this year has been pretty crappy when it comes to toys, you know, last year we had the Toys R Us, you know, going out. And now this year we've been dealing with, uh, the coronavirus and stuff. And it's this impact between those two things. The toy industry has been slapped around. So, so this is a great, great, uh, refreshing start going into next year. So definitely looking forward to hopefully next year, we all have a better year, especially in the toy part of the industry. So, because it's just, it's been spanking the toy. Everybody in every, uh, Migos had it, you know, everybody's just been getting hit. And I'm hoping, wishing every company out there great luck and moving forward because we definitely need to see these toy aisles looking a little thicker, if you know what I mean, with, with a lot fresher. And I'm going to say this before I get into the Beast Man. Uh, for you, M Disney, Mattel, I would love to see some new, fresh action figure ideas that has nothing to do with some big Marvel movie or uh I, said, I want something brand new, something, I know the Fortnite is probably the only thing, but it's off of a video game, but I would love to see something fresh to come out that has nothing to do with some major ties to where that dictates the pace on how the toys sit on the pegs, because if you don't have some new movie coming out, because here's the, the flow, <coughs> you hear about the new movie coming out, you hear about they're making toys. Right as the movie's coming out, the toys hit the shelves. Three months later, they quit making it because the movie's not out on, on theaters anymore. And then that's it. They do a small run, throw it out there, end the story. And three years later, they decide to make part two to that movie. Oh, I was going to make some more toys. So you're just, I don't know. I just, I remember like when the He Man cartoon was out, He Man was packed on the, the pegs all the time. And I think they need to go back to that and, and have a little bit more pride and a little bit more, uh, not, not really the pride is the right word, a little bit more confidence in their own company and their own designs that it can hold up and inspire and, and attract the children to, to keep buying year round. So come on, guys, show a little gusto. All right, guys, here we go. The Beast Man. Really cool figure. Only bad thing, this this really cool red background that we have on every one of them really does not play well for the Beast Man. It just don't. It's just a clash. It's just too much red. And you really don't get to see just the really cool sculpting. But you can really see the stature here. He looks bigger. He looks more menacing. Like I said, unfortunately, him and Stratos and Moss Man suffered from that stubby miniature leg syndrome. And they, it just made him look goofy. And as here, his silhouette is much better. He looks uh, right there. He's the same height as a He-Man now and stuff. So I have to say, and try to get a little bit closer here. Oh, come on, I focus now. Here we go. Great details. Like I said, everything that we we was wanting to have on this and just great sculpting and just enough paint apps. Like, you know, I tell you what would really make this figure look even better. If I can get in there with some, uh, like some extremely dark brown uh, oil paints and really rub on this character to really pop all, because there's a lot of full fur sculpting here. And stuff. I may even practice that on an old vintage. Well, I mean, I got tons of beasts. I think I got like 10 beasts, man, with no armor or nothing. I may have to do that just to show you guys what I'm talking about. 
because there's a, there's just so much red going on here. It's hard to see the detail unless you're right here, right on top of it and stuff. But so much better. Great. So much improvement on the silhouette and stuff and everything. And I really like, I'm digging these swivel hands that these all these characters have now. They're going to really be able to do a lot better cool poses on your shelves and stuff with the weapons and everything. So here we're getting ready to go to the, the pack artwork here. And wow, I, I didn't even, I didn't ever notice this. I didn't look at this one, but all the other, they're really showing some, I'm going to get a better close up now. They're showing these really cool, or I guess, Eternia Beast. And there's another, like some other kind of line character that I don't ever recall seeing anything like that before. There's that dragon again. We get the same dragon. But, you know, he looked like he's caught on the beast to join him in some big fight. And once again, I have to say, the pose that the Beast Man is in just the basic uh, artwork, the drawing of him is really cool. Whoever this artist is, has done a great job at his, on his layouts, his uh, concepts and everything. Excellent work. I wish I knew the artist's name, and I don't think, I, I hear it is, and I cannot read that for nothing. I'm going to see if I can get this camera on it here. Now you can stir the logo. So I don't know who that is. I wish it was actually printed on there. It's just like my signature. <laughs> you can't read it. <laughs> so, so be cool if it was actually like somewhere in the corner, like like right here, you know, artists da 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 da, -da printed on there. Kind of like you know the comic books. You know, you, you always see presented by Stan Lee cover artist or whatever panel artist you know it's all topped up but then you see the signature on the covers but once again all the back is all the same except for the two pictures here showing how they hold their weapons and that they're they swivel not spring loaded and stuff all right guys that's the four that i got they did not have either the tila let me get a good closure the Tila or the Evil Inn. They didn't have either one of those. Uh, so I'm going to be looking for them. Checking out another Walmart today. So let's see if they got any. But now on to the unboxing here. So I'm going to only stay on here another 15 minutes or so. And uh, definitely enjoying this review and unboxing here for sure so just give me a second guys running through here with a butter knife because i actually got some plans here for this bubble a buddy of mine we are looking at creating a uh vacuum machine so that we can make our own like uh like pacific you know motu's got a certain style bubble here so they've always been very unique so we're looking at making some uh bubbles in the motu style like that way if you had an old retro figure and you wanted to uh put it on a a, a card back we're going to be able to make some of these retro blisters and stuff oh man i am butchering this because i cannot see there we go now she's loosening up i'm trying not to really rag out these cards here I'm sure back when I was a kid, you, you, we ripped them open with such savagery, if I had to guess. And as I got older, I, I don't really do that. I'm not into this ripping them. So we got, just like the oh, they had the... There we go. I was trying to keep everything intact so I don't lose anything. Stuff. Set that over to the side. And... uh. So they got everything here behind them in a little clear bag with the little elastic stuff going here. If I had to guess, that's probably, oh, it's even tamed. I'll tell you what, I'm just wondering, and I don't know, I mean, they're probably forced to do this, but I'm just curious if, uh, would this figures be cheaper if these China people didn't go to such effort to 
you know, bag and ziplock and put all these crazy ties on everything. It's very, very annoying. And man, they got this one taped up. Something fierce. So I apologize, guys. I didn't know this was going to be such an aggravating feat. Er, now we got it going. Lord. Tough plastic. There we go. Now we got it going. Lord Almighty's like, you know, where the hell you thought this, these pieces were going to go? I mean, they had them waterproof. They had them so tight. Like I said, extremely, pretty much a childproof bag. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go through this. Oh, and it, oh, that's pretty neat. See some improvements already. Let's see here. See if we can get the He Man out of the blister. Oh, we got him on the elbows here. And I've never been a huge fan of these uh, ties. I'm going to break that. I guess they just don't like figures rolling around inside the blisters anymore, which I've never seen an issue with it. There we go. Now we got it rolling. And just when I was looking at him from the, the back side of his chest here, looks like I'm seeing some improvement, design improvements already, which I think if you're going to make changes, on a figure you don't change the design you change what didn't work back then and it looked like whoever was on the mattel team really understood this process here get these little clear things off all right guys oh it's got some great weight great colors on this show you guys here He was going good there. There you go. Just excellent. Great colors on this. Simple color to scheme. Just like the original. But I'd say, here's one of the improvements I've seen right off the bat. He is now able to hold his sword. Plus, you only have one little pressure feeding. Pretty much a snap, you would say. So, A, it looks better. This is not going to mess up in time. This is not going to be, because that's one thing, those older straps. I mean, I know y'all know what I'm talking about, see. But these older straps right here, you got three different points that you got to mess with here. And those little nubs on there, the stubs or whatever you call it, they just tend to wear out. These little uh, square brackets, they tend to break. And this right here, the other little loop down here at the bottom tends to mess up. And uh, we're going to do a little, we can do a size comparison here real fast. And as you can see, come on, focus in now. There we go. The size here is roughly the same. And these appear slightly bigger only because their legs extend out a little bit more than the, and the, and the ankles adjust. So if you look at it from a side point of view, let me brace his arm up a little bit so you guys get a better feel for what I'm talking about here. The legs are in that squat position. They get to extend a little bit. So that's the exact same size here. The difference is they can extend the leg. So let's see here. Yep, boy, wow, that went off. It ain't very interesting design. Sorry, guys, I, I designed toys, and that is it. That's cool looking. Really like that. Very neat, very much, very, oh. And they even, oh, and they got it underneath the arm instead of being, oh, Mattel, excellent choice. That's one thing, you know, a lot of people, they're big about articulation. And they usually have this little cut right here. But what they've done was they gave it the articulation half the amount, but the cut is underneath the arm so that when it's down, it looks more pleasing to the eye. So, 
excellent design choice, Mattel. Man, that is something new. I've not seen the way that looked. And I've not bought any of the new WWE Motu crossovers and stuff. So, and I heard the heads pop off really easy. Let's see here. What well, they do? I mean, it's not not bad at all. Simple ball joint in there. I really like the comic book feel head on this thing. Very nicely done. Leg joints here. They look. They're on the same kind of a deal that the shoulders are on. So it's got a ball joint in there. So much better than the. Oh wow! What a what range. So much cool. Look at that. Really neat. The knees bend. Oh wow! And they even got a swivel right. They even swivel here. So a lot of great. So he should be able to sit on Battle Cat really nice and stuff. Excellent posing. And you get just a little bit of head where you can look up a little bit. I'm sure he can look down. See? Oh, yeah. So much more dynamic versus just the, the classic spin. So you definitely got, uh, you can even probably yeah turn to the side. Slight, slight improvements just make things so much better and everything. All right, guys, like I said, I'm not going to spend a huge lot of time, but I want to go over the weapons here. See what kind of great figure. Bought on it. Very happy with that. And it comes here. I'm seeing a classic sword, axe, and everything. So I'm going to start with the axe because I have the, the, the original axe here. All right, here we go. Uh, the original vintage one here, 1982, and the new one. It looks like what they done. They made it look a little bit more like it did in the, the filmation cartoon. A little bit simpler design. Uh, it's roughly the same size. It's not. It don't have this extra tall point here. Good color scheme. See here, and but the plastic seems very. It's not the old ones here. Very gummy right here, but they done that right there to make sure that it, that it would never, you don't hardly ever see these snapped. This is a very rubber plastic where this is a very, a uh, little bit more, it could be brittle plastic. So this is probably, could be breakable. I don't want to put it to the test, but overall, silhouette wise, got a lot less detail, but overall silhouette wise, it's got a good silhouette. I give them credit on that. Shield. I'm already seeing, I think the shield is an improvement. We're going to test that theory out here. Boom. Much bigger. Now, we have to say the 3D-ness, which you can see more like this. The original has a lot more 3D detail as far as thickness, but where I, th I think it makes up for it just in the overall design factor. But this one, you, you know, it came in, Two parts with the little uh, press cardboard color inside of it. But the, the big factor is much more hardware on the back that's molded on. It can really clip on much better versus this piece. These tend to be break right here on these little brackets. This looks to be a little bit more robust. So excellent choice, I believe. Let's just see how he... Uh, Put that on, and it should just clip. Oh, yeah. Wow. You can't do that with a vintage one. And he ain't letting go of it. I mean, come on. <laughs> excellent. Whoever designed that, two thumbs up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And far as look, wow, it's got a really nice look to kind of bend this elbow here. You know how figures are right out of the package the first... Come on, Ben. There you go. Loosen up a little bit. Let's see. Wow. Oh, yeah. That shield looks a little bit more like it's going to block something versus the old one. Very, very nice. Very good pose. Oh, yeah. Extremely, extremely pleased with that. And these guys, boy, they got a good weight to them. They really do. And I heard they do. Yeah, they pop up of the waist too. And I actually, I, I rather, because that spring, the and good and it holds its pose, so it's not going to, 
Yeah, it don't wiggle out of its poses. There's good tension there. Because one thing about that, the, the spring punch is really cool. Oh, El Rodimus, good morning. Thank you. They didn't think anybody's going to be able to join me this morning. I'm not going to be on here much longer. I do apologize. But just going through this review here. But the bad thing about this spring, when it goes, then it's loosey goosey. They will just spin around horribly. So, see here. Ah, Monkey Magic. Thank you for joining me this morning. Let's see. The see new shield is what exactly new shield's waterproof. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you got this classic one wet, it will just mess that. But that cardboard piece, I have to say, is extremely easy to repair. If you got a bad one, shoot me a message on my Facebook or whatever, and I can tell you exactly how to replace that with the greatest of ease and won't even cost you a dime and everything. So now we're moving on to the sword here. I don't have the, the original one I got put up, but the sword I've been using is the, I like that the Super 7, they come out with the new sword and it was the same on both sides. I really like that, but it, we, I guess we can compare these two. And the new sword is definitely made off more of the comic book size. Uh, it's got that same feel, but it's got the, a little bit more robust, very more barbarian-like. So very pleased. And it has the snap buttons, which I'm assuming goes right off with the Skeletor. So these look like they may snap better here. But where I am concerned is if these swords aren't perfectly... They need, if they're going to be warped a little bit, they need to be warped toward the middle. So when the two join, that makes it extra tight. So if they bend out this way, any at all, it's not going to look good. So the only thing I wish I can say is I wish they gave you a sword that had the both sides together and everything. But I may end up molding this and redesigning it without that handle and make a double side one. I'm not mistaken, the San Diego version came with a version like that. And let's see how easy he holds this in his hand. I'm sure it holds pretty well. Let's see here. Yep. Oh, and that works out pretty good. The actual little handle thing does spin around. Keeps it. I said they hold their weapons. <laughs> Kenner retro figures didn't do that. He just... Blow on them when they fall out. So, yeah. Picking up, oh, with Monkey Magic said he's been picking up some Skeletor. So, here. Decent price. Yes, they are. They're only $14.96, I believe, is what they were. And as far as holding up, yes, they feel tough. Now, will the arms pop out? But, yes, but it looks like they'll pop on right. Just don't tell the kids that they can pop off. That way, they won't be. Because it does take a little bit of force. <clears throat> there you go. So if the kid don't know it can do that, they're probably not going to go out for that extra oomph to try to make it pop off. But as far as toughness, yes, I would let my daughter, who's four and very rough on her toys, definitely play with that, definitely for sure. And real quickly here, before I let everybody go, like I said, i got to cut out a little early. Like I said, I'm doing this extremely early because I'm going to be busy here in the next five minutes. So I get out of here. We got the little mini comic here. Uh, not not a fan for the artwork on this one. I'd say this one don't hold up as much. Kind of show you all some different paint. But I am glad to see that they stepped up a little bit better than what Super 7 did. And actually put a legitimate story it looks like we have in here. Looks really cool. Now, the artwork inside looks slightly better than the cover. Let's see. It's only a few pages long here. So, if you, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pages of story. So, all, of, all in all, it's eight sides. Rather have a short little mini story like this versus just a plain card, you know, like a demo comic. Don't like that. See. Oh, okay, sure thing. Definitely will. Thank you, Rodimus. But yeah, definitely in the back of it, same kind of picture that we had on the, the toy card back and everything. 
like I said, just a good nod of what like it was. Like I said, I did not find the, the Tila or the Evil Lynn. So um, I'm hoping to be looking for those after work today. And like I said, that's what I'm having to do. I'm having to get ready and rush into work a little early this morning. That's why I didn't want to wait till later today because every time it seems like I wait to try to do something in the evening, life just gets a little crazy and a lot of stuff going on. Hey, your thing, sure thing, monkey. Man, like I said, they're, they're great figures and they seem very tough, safe for kids. Great colors here. Great nod to the past. But at the same time, like look at the gray on the chest plate. The gray and the red pops a little bit better. better you know, but, yeah, but once again, this is 40 years old. You're probably not looking at the, the true color of it. But as you can see, the aesthetic is still the same. It's, except this is just slight upgrades. And the way the, the, and the sword, we'll see how that sword sits in back in this thing. I did not get to test that out. Let's see. Do it in reverse here. Oh, yeah. That God. See, I know before we all used to stuff it. See, they dig them up that idea because we used to stuff it back here, but that tend to warp that. And 10 of these things are bad to break right there, right behind this little thickness here, right? When we got to the thin part, that's where it used to snap. So that was the problem here. They just went ahead and made the design. It looks better. We only got one point of snappage versus three points here. So less chances of something going awry and stuff like that. But overall, Toy Smuggler is going to give this two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. The only major difference I've heard from this figure and the one at San Diego, it, the one San Diego came with the little boot knife and just don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever, if that's what makes you feel. And I was wanting to notice this on our articulation here, guys. You have a swivel right here at the boot cut. So even better for putting him on like Battle Cat or doing some kind of odd pose or whatever. So all in all, I have to give this uh, He-Man series figures. I mean, th these are 10 out of 10s. Uh, the newest, coolest toy out right now, bar none. I don't care as far as the, the Star Wars stuff, the Kenner stuff, and then not the Kenner stuff, but the uh, the G.I. Joe stuff that's come. The, boy, that's such so disappointing. This right here, bottom line, is not a disappointment. It met every expectation. Excellent. I just can't wait to get the rest of them. Definitely look forward to Wave 2 on this. So, guys, I'm sorry to have... Sorry, I, I was shocked that anybody was able to even join on, but I want to thank everybody. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Please uh, share this video if you don't mind. We're now over, I think, 900-something. We're so close to 1,000, so please subscribe. Share it to your friends. I'm looking to, like I said, I'm hoping to get to that 1,000 here really soon. Definitely looking forward to it, so thank you, guys. Definitely got some uh, more videos coming away. The next one I'm going to be doing on, you might see it back there on the wall. Mego bootleg pirate toys. Yes. Interesting story to tell you guys. See here. Yes, the Mega I'm not a fan of that stuff, but they do look pretty cool. Definitely. I have to agree with you on that. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. Mattel's pumping the He-Man. Look forward to the future, guys. You guys have a good one. Toy Smuggler out. Catch y'all later.